So with the event having been concluded for several days now, I took this time to evaluate the player's market to see whether or not the 2AV would be worth the purchase. So welcome back to another making the purchase slash talking head video, which are becoming a bit of a common thing for this channel. Nonetheless, if you happen to enjoy these types of videos and would like to see more of them, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. But before we go ahead with the rest of the video, a quick word from today's sponsor. Thank you to Yahaha Studios for sponsoring today's video. Yahaha is a brand new user-generated content creation platform that unleashes your creative side while simplifying the entire experience when creating your own virtual environment in the 3D space. And to make things that much more interesting, you can invite your friends into your worlds that you build to begin exploring, play games, or just simply hang out. No coding or server knowledge is required. Simply put, you just utilize the components and simple to use smart assets in Yahaha Studio to make any world or game that you desire. And I've taken the time to play some of the games myself that were put together by the community and they are very well made and insanely well put together and at times are even incredibly challenging but can be really fun. And I'm not kidding when I say it's easy to use as Yahaha Studio provides to you millions of ready to use 3D assets and it's all stored on the cloud drive too so you can stream them in real time to your local client when you need to use them. And when you finish your world, you can easily publish your work onto the Yahaha cross-platform app that's available on both PC and mobile so that others can find and enjoy your world or your games that you made. So if you have a creative side that you want to explore further, then give Yahaha a try. Simply go down to my video's description and download it today. And since it's an early access, it's entirely free. So what's not to love? All right, so the Leopard 2 AV was one of the big three prizes from the previous event being the Summer Quest. And this time around, it was an incredibly straightforward event that required you to simply play the game for an extended amount of time rather than focusing on certain aspects of our gameplay, such as counting kills, capping points, etc. And because of that simplicity, the Vega rewards have found themselves to not only be incredibly common, but also incredibly cheap to purchase compared to the previous event reward vehicles. And to outline my point further, as of the time of this video's recording, the Leopard 2 AV goes for a little under 30 Gaijin coins. And even early on, it was as low as 23 Gaijin coins, which is incredibly low given the battle rating of the vehicle. However, that number is steadily rising. So if you're someone who decided to spend the GE rather than grind the event, I'm sorry to say you spent a little over 30 USD over the going price on the player's market. And that's not counting the two other vehicles, which would have cost you what? 200 USD worth of Golden Eagles? However, if you are watching this video, you're probably debating on whether or not to make the final purchase for the 2AV. And I am pleased to say, that at its current going price, I would say absolutely yes. But, and always that big beautiful but, it really depends on what you are looking for. To summarize the 2AV, it is a slightly worse off Leopard 2K without a 20 millimeter, of course, when it comes to just raw firepower and mobility, but makes up for it in protection, which at times has saved me from certain destruction and the mobility trade-off isn't as substantial as many would like to claim. It's a vehicle that doesn't excel at anything, while still utilizing the familiar playstyle of the current and later variants of the Leopards, which isn't entirely a bad thing. It means that you won't get anything special out of it. It is simply another Leopard. However, it does do one thing to help you out. It makes for a great lineup vehicle, something you can pull out during the mid or late game as a backup to say your PT-14, if you have it that is, or your Leopard 2K, Hell, maybe even the weasel. All this does is bolster your 9.7 lineup, which is already fantastic as is, and it's only made better by the Leopard 2 AV. But as always, you need to grind through the vehicle's modifications and it does not offer any premium or grinding efficiency bonuses, which is kind of a bummer. If this were a vehicle that was priced above 35 USD, I would say it would not be necessarily worth the purchase for how little it gives and how inefficient it can be compared to say the Leopard 2K and the PT-14. If anything, 
This is a collector's piece, something that you can say you have and enjoy playing on your own time. That's what I do. And I can safely say that the 2AV handles really well in the right hands, but that's pretty much true for any vehicle in this game, just a little bit more so for certain vehicles as all, like maybe the Type 60 ATM. Man, I hate that thing. <laughs> So to summarize all of this, it's nice to have, but not entirely needed to enhance your game's experience, though I say it's worth its going price for the time being. If you decide to not go for it, you wouldn't really miss anything outside of having it as a nice collector's piece. But even then, that's kind of a stretch on its own. I mean, you gotta admit, it looks really nice in that 9.7 lineup. So that's all I got for you. If you're someone who happened to have naturally grinded through the vehicle, feel free to share your stories on how well it performs for you. Was it worth your time and effort and so on? And as always, if you enjoyed this talking head video, let me know. Your feedback really helps the channel as I use the information to finely tune everything. And as always, if you'd like to support me as a creator, feel free to use my 3% discount code. It works for nearly everything in the War Thunder store and even for Enlisted, which came to me as a big surprise. So maybe it works for other Gaijin titles too? There's one way to find out. And as always, if you'd like to see this gameplay live, come and find me on Twitch. That's where you'll get the full unfiltered Justin. And trust me, things get really interesting there. <laughs> I am proud to say we did not die and I sniped the last kill. But as always, thank you again for taking the time to listen to this and I will see you not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. Until then, happy grinding.